Hey guys, it's Nailbiter, and I've got another World of Tanks video here for you guys. Since the first one I posted on my channel a couple of weeks ago seemed to go over pretty well. And this is actually also a somewhat older gameplay. Uh, it's uh, one that I've been saving, <laughs> it's kind of saving up. And uh, I'd say probably to date this is the most impressive run I've had so far in World of Tanks. Um, just uh, just mainly because, as you can see on the in the left, uh, in the top left corner, I was actually I'm actually not the highest tier tank in this round. Uh, the it's actually a tier eight battle, and I'm uh, using a tier seven heavy tank, uh, the IS actually in the Russian line. And so I was pretty happy with this round. Uh, I, d I mean, I did get to sort of finish off a couple of enemies, so it wasn't like I I took eight enemy tanks down from uh, full health. But uh, I was still pretty happy with this round, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, you guys you find it. Or hopefully you guys find it interesting to watch. I mean, I know y this isn't exactly the game that you guys want to see, but I've been having a lot of fun with uh, World of Tanks recently. Uh, I've, I've kind of gotten to know some of the maps a little better, and I've, I've gotten to be familiar with uh, the, the various tanks, and I mean, <laughs> obviously I haven't used all of them, uh, but there are, there are certain ones that I've used a lot of and gotten pretty comfortable with, and so I have a pretty good idea of uh, what I need to do in each round uh, to, to have success, and just because a lot of this game is based on, or the, the success that you have with this game is mostly based on really the strategy that you use and uh, you know how you use your tank and uh, kind of I mean working with your teammates to to a <laughs> the extent as possible uh, you know the one thing that does sometimes frustrate me about this game is the, the matchmaking can be a little bit uh, strange at sometimes uh, just uh, you know the the, ma the matches that you sometimes get put into especially with sort of middle middle tier tanks with like tier five or tier six tanks you often get put into these really high tier battles which can be kind of frustrating but uh, once you get into the higher tier tanks uh, it can be a lot of fun to uh, they, they can be a lot of fun to use and uh, I have one tier 8 tank that I have a gameplay for that I want to show you guys that, that I've been having a lot of fun using so uh, I expect to see that at some point soon but uh, so I mean I know this game isn't exactly what you guys want to see but I do think if, if you're willing to uh, try something new or if you're willing to watch something different um, definitely give this game a chance I think it's I've been having a lot of fun with it so hopefully you guys <laughs> will enjoy watching the gameplays that I post of it and uh, maybe even try it out yourself if, <laughs> if you want to go that far uh, so as, as I mentioned earlier I'm using the IS in this in this video uh, it's a tier 7 heavy tank in the Russian line and uh, one other thing that's actually nice about this game before I go into too much more detail about the tank that I'm using is they actually, the, the developers, actually patch the game fairly regularly um, the, with, with like new new tanks and new maps. And I actually think in the next patch, in the 7.4 patch, uh, they're actually going to add a couple of new game modes, so those will be fun to try out. And uh, we're also going to get two new maps and a couple of new tank lines, so I think uh, the French nation is going to get a, a t tank destroyer line. and. Uh, I think there are going to be a couple of new premium tanks as well, and, and I know in the sometime in the future they're going to add British tanks to uh, the tech tree. Uh, so it, it's just kind of nice because there's always new stuff to try out. And uh, so now that I've gotten you know pretty familiar with the game, I've been I've been having a lot of fun just kind of trying out some of the uh, some of the uh, starting some of the newer lines just because I, I kind of know how the game works a little better now. Uh, I mean it does take a little bit of getting to know some of these maps and. And getting to know how best to use uh, the tanks that you have or the, the tanks that are available to you and uh, but once you sort of get familiar with that it can be a lot of fun so I've been having a lot of fun with this game and uh, <laughs> I know I've been kind of rambling on about this but uh, so just back to the tank that I'm using the the IS what, what I really like about this tank is that while it's a heavy tank it still is actually a pretty fast tank uh, it's it can definitely get into the 30 kilometers per hour or range uh, when it's moving and so it can be actually be really good for flanking, even though it's a heavy tank. It does have pretty good frontal armor, uh, but it it's can be very effective with flanking, and that's kind of what you see me do here. I was after I was able to finish off that guy that I was sort of battling with back and forth uh, along that that corner. I was able to <laughs> I'm able to kind of flank a couple of guys and uh, finish them off, and that's actually uh, you know my, my I was kind of lucky in that regard because uh, I don't know if you noticed, but at the top of the uh, screen there's that little bar with the the red bar and that shows how much the enemy team has captured our home base and so I did get kind of lucky in that my teammates did a good job of holding them off long enough for those of us that were in the city 
area to finish off the enemy tanks that were there so that we could uh, go back and help uh, our, our teammates finish off the guys that were trying to capture our flag. Uh, so so I did get lucky in that in that regard, but, uh, you know, I mean, I, I thought I, this was, a, as I said, this is <laughs> definitely one of the better rounds that I've had, and I was able to take out a couple of tier 8 tanks, which was which was good. And so one thing I did want to talk about, I mean, there, there are a lot of nuances to this game that I didn't really go into too much detail about in the first video uh, that I made for uh, the first World of Tanks video that I made. And uh, so part of that is that you, uh, uh, you know, in, in Battlefield, for those of you that have played Battlefield and have kind of used vehicles in Battlefield 3, you'll know that, I mean, you know, if you hit a tank in, if you hit a tank in the back, you're going to do more damage than in the front. And, you know, while that holds true in this game, they're also, it's a little more intricate because uh, each of the tanks has specific weak points that you can aim for that will, will do more damage. And uh, so especially if you don't always have an angle, to uh, you know the side or the back of a tank, uh, if you you can aim for certain spots on the tank that will uh, still allow you to penetrate the tank's armor and still do damage. So uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's something that's definitely taken me a little while to to get used to for each of the tanks and just recognizing what what tank I'm facing and uh, where to where to shoot at it. So I mean, in general, good places to shoot are kind of in the lower hull. So. Uh, uh, the the space that's below the tracks if you're facing the front of a tank the the, the space in between the two tracks it's kind of below the the front um, it's kind of below the the hull I guess you could say and uh, that that's usually a good place to penetrate if you can't hit the side and you actually saw me earlier I got a little bit lucky because I was able to set the 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 tier eight uh, tank that I was facing off against uh, I was actually able to set him on fire. Uh, with a shot to the side and uh, you know that is a little bit lucky and when that happens <laughs> because it's not like there's one specific spot that you can shoot at that will always set a tank on fire and I mean certain tanks are more prone to getting caught on fire than others but that does require a bit of luck and uh, so so I mean just I, I kind of what I've liked about this game and uh, I kind of talked about this earlier already but a lot of this game is, uh, or the success that you have in this game is often, or it's almost completely dependent on the strategy that you employ and just like how smart you are as you play. And I think that's kind of nice, just because you know, in a lot of games, a lot of SP FPS games that are popular now, a lot of them have these kind of random elements in in them that can be really frustrating. So uh, you you can sometimes get killed by by things that just really don't take any skill to use. Whereas I think in this game, you know, for the most part, I think it's pretty well balanced. So it's it's not like when I get killed, it's it's. I mean, when I when I do get killed, it's it's usually because I did something, uh, you know, kind of stupid strategically, which is just so it, it makes you think a little bit more about what exactly you're doing, which I kind of like. So, anyways, this round is just about, or it is finished, I should say. Uh, I got eight kills, which I was really pretty thrilled about, uh, especially for being in a a tier eight battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.